All right, today we're gonna reclock a Pro Charger. Uh, I'm selling this one that I picked up to somebody and they need it reclocked uh, to two o'clock. I'm not actually sure where it's clocked at right now. It might already be clocked at two, but I gotta pull it apart to find out, uh, which means I gotta pull the pulley, pull the top of the case off, and then find out where it is clocked exactly. Um, although I could probably guess based on where the uh, drain plugs and everything are, but that's no worries. We'll pull it apart, show you how to do it it's real quick. It's real simple and uh, we'll put it back together. All right. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take this pulley off. I've already broken it free, uh, depending on how yours is. You can see mine's snug down because this is a brand new uh, Pro Charger here. So this has never been run. It's just got a little bit of a gall there, ignore that. But, um, so anyways, it's 5 8 and you're gonna have, uh, you may have, well, I've already taken this one off, but you may have a little dust boot that goes on there. Um, a lot of guys throw that away, but then you can take this off. Be careful when you do because there is a keyway in here. So make sure you keep that with your pulley so that you don't lose it. So then the next thing you can do is take off this cover, which again, I've already loosened. If I can figure out where I put my, sorry about that. Put my, you got these Allen head keys in here and, uh, let me pop all these off. I'll pull the cover off and show you. Okay, so here's the inside of your cover. Uh, and here's the inside of the Pro Charger. Again, you got these washers and your bolt that hold the pulley on. Those bolt into this. Be very careful that you don't lose either one of these uh, bearing retainers here. Those need to stay right where they're at. And if you need to reclock it, this is where you're going to be doing it. So we've got 2 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 10 o'clock. So uh, this one's already in the 2 o'clock position, which is what he said he needed. So I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, if you move it from here, then you'll have a drain plug here that'll need to be moved. Uh, same goes for this, so this is currently, this is your oil slinger here. These just come out and, and move wherever you need them to go and slide back in. So if you need to reclock it, you just put it there. Now you're at 12 o'clock, but your drain plug needs to correspond with whichever one of these you put it in. And uh, don't lose your dipstick here because you'll need to make sure that that stays in there behind this retaining plate. So right there, so you can check your, your oil in there. You can see this is all nice and fresh, still has the uh, factory oil in it, which uh, you still have to fill it up with the proper amount and the proper fluid and everything. This is just to keep all of the internals nice and well lubricated. So uh, simple as that. I mean, it's a very easy process. I'll just set those there for just a moment. So this just comes out and moves over here if you want to change your clocking. It's very simple, easy to do. So uh, it shouldn't take a lot of force to get that in there. And it should just, we can see, slide right on in. So that's it. And you saw I just tapped it with my thumb and it is back where it is supposed to be and working. And again, this is what they call your oil slinger. That's what's gonna, depending on where this unit is turned, that's what's gonna determine you know where all the oil's getting picked up and flung at all the rest of the gears hence the uh, oil flinger anyways that's what we got for that right now i'm gonna put this back to oh something else to be very careful of when you're taking these apart if you get in there and you're using any kind of little pry bars or anything be very careful of this o-ring in the center don't just jam a screwdriver all the way through there or anything like that um, i put a little leverage on the outside edge and lift it up very carefully making sure that I'm not marring or scarring any of the surface inside here. Just gentle using a uh, nylon tipped mallet to give it a little bit of tap. It should sit pretty tight on this uh, bearing here, the seal. You can see right there, it's pressing style seal. Should pr fit pretty tight on there. So that's what keeps all that oil from coming out. So just be mindful and careful of that. Keep it all clean. Make sure you don't get any junk in here. You know, everybody's got a little bit of dust and debris in their shop. So just do this clean and make sure you don't get any metal shavings or anything in there that's going to mess the insides of these up. 
glad I went back and reread my notes. He said it needed to be changed from to to 10 o'clock. So let me turn you around and we'll actually change the clocking on this thing so you can see what it's supposed to look like. So again, this is, you know, depending on your perspective here, here's the, the main pulley shaft. So if you're looking at skinny end and big end, this is my right side, this is my left side, looking at it straight down. So we've got 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, two o'clock, okay? So we're gonna just set these to the side so we don't bump them out of the way. We're gonna pull this out. We're gonna bring it over to the 10 o'clock position and set it back down. So now this is in the correct position here. So now I've gotta move this plug over to here. So let me get this put back together. I'll show you putting that back together and then we'll swap the plugs, all right? Okay, so I've got it set back down. My holes are lining up. I'm just giving it little taps to seat it. Nothing crazy, nothing hard. Don't want to damage anything. Don't want to hurt anything. It's got alignment dowels, so be very gentle with it. And then we're just going to go ahead and get our bolts back in so we can get those torqued down. It's hard to do one-handed, so... I'll, uh, I'll put the torque settings up on the screen here in just a second. And uh, that way everybody knows the proper amount to get these. And I have to go look again, recall off the top of my head. But anyways, easy cheesy to re-clock your Pro Charger. The next thing I do, uh, he sent me a picture of how his broken one um, is in his truck. So I'm going to re-clock the housing as well to come out in the right location as well for them. Okay, these are all torqued back down. So now you've got your first washer goes on before the pulley. Then let's see if I can do this one handed here. So then we put our keyway back in. Ah, hang on. Okay, I'm trying to keep it sitting in there. Come on, stay, Mr. Keyway. Okay, then our pulley has a keyway in it that you can see right there, and that lines up with the keyway. And this again, very hard to do one handed. finger on it there we go that sits back down in there then our washer which if you can see is stepped those steps go down into there and then our bolt which I just dropped down here somewhere goes in hang on Well, help me understand. It cannot have gone that far. It's amazing. My ability to lose something is, is just amazing. How I cannot go anywhere, and yet something will still disappear. Let me bring you back. <laughs> so, I found the bolt. It just fell right there. They're all of that. So, this will go back down. And again, I'll have to look up the torque spec that and uh, we'll get that torqued back down and again you may need uh, a strap wrench to get that torqued down well enough so anyways, let's get that put on and then uh, bring you back and we'll swap these over okay so again you got your drain plug and uh, actually your your drain outlet here so this has a threaded piece on it where you hook your drain up to and this is the plug here, uh, and it's set currently for, uh, these are anyways, for the two o'clock position, not the 10 o'clock, which is where we've just re-clocked this to. And a little bit of a sticky booger bear here. I don't like coming out. Oh, well, now we need to clean 
that and its O-ring. So this has an O-ring on it. We gotta make sure that's good and clean before we put this back in. So let me get the other one out and uh, get these two cleaned up and then we'll put them back in. All right, so I wanna spin this around so that when, if I'm looking at the front of the car, my drain plug is here. I want the outlet to be on the bottom pointed out this way. So I gotta rotate this a pretty good ways around. So it had these little dog bones on it and they just sit on top of this lip uh, like so and bolt down the two or bolt the two halves together. So I've left this one attached. I'm hoping I can get past that, but we shall see where that ends up. If it gets too close as I get around, then I'll just move it and put it on a different one. But anyways, you can take these completely off or whatever. You can see there's just a couple of Allen head screws that hold those on. No big deal. So as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just take this last one off whilst I'm here. The original tag that was bolted through there. So they need to be torqued down better anyways. So anyways, I'm gonna spin that around. Should be able to do it by hand. If not, you can give it a couple of little taps again with a little nylon hammer, gentle. Uh, it's an expensive part. You don't wanna break anything. You don't wanna hit it with a regular hammer. This is a soft nylon tipped hammer. So let me bump that around and I'll show you what it looks like. So you can see it now, how it's pointed. Like if this is square, it's pointed up here. I need it to be pointed around and down here. So anyways, I'll pull that around and I'll show it to you. All right, with a little bit of gentle persuasion, you can see that now that that points directly out the bottom uh, when this is setting uh, in the car, because this is how it will sit in the car, uh, this up and that drain plug directly down. So I'm gonna tap that just a degree or two more down and then bolt it back up. I didn't realize this whole time I had schmutz all over the lens, so sorry if everything's a little bit hazy in there, but all again, all you do is put these dog bones on there. They line up to every pair, because these are all equally spaced around. And there's three of them, so you want them to be offset. And skip but they need to be where you can get them. So that one will go, sorry, this one will go here because that's where I can get it. This is really hard to do one-handed. Be careful. Again, this is all aluminum, so don't go crazy with anything. Yeah, you don't want to cross thread. Everything can start, close easy, etc. So, fortunately, with the angle that I've got, I would love to have one there, but it looks like that's the best I'm gonna get. They can always adjust this when they go to put it on the vehicle. And if they need to bump it around a little bit more, it's easy enough to take that off and change it around. So, no deal, but again, all aluminum, so I need to be able to thread these in by hand. And we'll just snug them all down. And then I'll uh, torque down and uh, we'll be done. So there we have it. Pro Charger has been reclocked. Again, we'll sit in the vehicle like this. 
intake directly back towards the uh, driver's compartment and this directly towards the driver's side and the drain plug straight down towards the ground. So that's it. Till next time.